Research suggests that patients with diabetes who test their blood sugar at home manage their disease much more successfully than those who don't. I'm Dr. Marvin Lipman from Consumer Reports, and here today with me is John Gottlieb. Uh, John works at Consumer Reports and is a type 1 diabetic. Type 1 juvenile diabetes. How, uh, how often do you check your blood sugar, John? I test my blood sugar at least six or seven times a day. And why do you do it that often? I've had the disease for 18 years, and I know through lots of failure that if I test any less than that, my numbers are all over the place, low, high. It's, it's very hard to keep track. John is a type 1 diabetic, and his requirements for insulin are a must. Type 2 diabetics can test their blood sugar less frequently, perhaps one or two times a day. What's the procedure that you use for testing your blood sugar, John? Well, typically, Dr. Lippman, I, I wash my hands, I dry them, then I, I you take an alcohol swab, and I dab the tip of my finger, I let it dry, I then prick my finger with the needle, and then I use my One Touch Ultra to test my blood sugar. Do you use soap? Do you use warm water or cold water? Or? I typically use soap and warm water. Mm -hmm. And the warm water serves to dilate the capillaries in the fingertips so that when you stick the fingertip with the needle, it'll bleed more easily. Yes, absolutely. Right. I tend to tell patients not to use alcohol because it diffuses the blood as it comes out of the tip of the finger. John, you want to give us a demonstration of how you do this? Sure, absolutely. Let's say that you've already washed Wash your hands, hands with, with soap and, and, and running warm water and you've dried them thoroughly with either a cloth or a paper towel, rubbing them as you go to bring the blood to the surface. That being done, the next step is to... Just put the lancet in my little pen here and try and gently squeeze my finger for a drop of blood and just hold it right up to the test strip. Mm -hmm. I usually tell patients, especially when I'm beginning to teach them about finger pricking, that they brace their finger against a solid surface because unconsciously, as one pricks the finger, there's a tendency to withdraw. And uh, this way, with bracing it against a solid surface, you get a better drop of blood. Thank you, John. It's been very nice talking to you. I'm Dr. Marvin Lippman from Consumer Reports.